SJC Libraries, Searching with EBSCO Main and Using the Journal Locator. In this video, you will learn how to use the EBSCO databases to find articles and the Journal Locator to locate journal titles. For the purpose of this presentation, I will use the Callahan Library, but the skills demonstrated are the same for both SJC Libraries. From the Callahan Library homepage, Scroll down and select the Databases tab, and then Callahan List of Databases. From the alphabetical listing, click the letter E, and then select EBSCO Databases. If you are off campus, you may be prompted to enter your MySJC credentials for remote access. So now, this brought us to the main menu for all EBSCO databases to allow simultaneous searching across general, business, health, education, and newspaper databases. So let's select several databases. I'm going to select Academic Search Elite, ERIC, Professional Development Collection, Omni file full text, and finally APA psych articles. If I scroll all the way to the bottom and click continue. Okay, now we are searching all of the selected databases at once. So let's try a search. I'm going to start typing in early childhood. Now you may notice as I start typing, some suggested phrases come up. So what I want, I want to search Early Childhood Special Education, so I'm going to scroll down and select that. And under Search Options, I'm going to select Full Text, May 2015, Published Date through May 2020, and I'm going to check off Scholarly Peer-Reviewed Journals. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see each of those databases that we selected have special limiters. So for the first one, which is Academic Search Elite, under Document Type, I'm going to select Article. Okay, the next one, the special limiters for ERIC. Under Journal or Document, I'm going to select Journal Article. Under Publication Type, just below that, I'm going to select Reports, and Reports-Research. Under the Education level, which is over on the right-hand side, I'm going to select Early Childhood Education. And for the Special Limiters for the Professional Development Collection, under Document Type, I'm going to select Article. Omnifile Full Text, under Publication Type, I'm going to select Academic Journal. And finally, Special Limiters for APA Psych Articles, under the Age Group, I'm going to select Preschool. There it is. Okay, but you want to select the age group that's based on your research interests. So now if I scroll to the bottom and click on Search, I'm presented with 125 results. Okay, so let's refine these results by selecting Academic Journal under Source Type. So that's going to be in the left-hand column under Source Type. So that's going to limit us to now 101 articles. Okay, so let's look at one of these articles in more detail. Let's look at this one titled, Creating Supportive Environments for Children Who Have Had Exposure to Traumatic Events. Okay, so just below the title, we have some additional information. The author is listed. Okay, the journal title is listed. The date of the article itself, the volume, the issue, page range. Um, now, research studies are usually 10 pages or more in length, and we can see from the information here at the top that this particular article is 14 pages. Research studies also have charts and graphs, 
And in this description, we can see that this article has three charts. And a study must have the following sections, methods, results, and discussion. And we're going to look a little closer at the article itself to see if that is true for this. So let's click on full text, PDF full text. So let's look at the different parts of this research article. Now, right at the top left, we have the journal title, the year, the page range, the DOI. Just below that, we have the title of the article itself. Next, we have the authors, along with links to view their credentials. And below that, we start out with an abstract, which is a paragraph on what the article is about. And that's followed by keywords. Now, you may want to write the keywords down to use these for future searches. And then after that, we have an introduction. Okay, this provides background on the topic and may introduce terminology that the average reader is not familiar with. So you want to make sure you read through that. And here's a method section, which is good. That indicates it could be a study. It probably is. And this talks about the participants in the procedure. Here's a results section. The results usually offers charts and graphs showing the results of the study. And we're going to continue to page through here, just kind of skimming the headings. And here's a discussion section. This usually talks about what the researchers discovered. This also may include issues that the researcher encountered or ideas for additional avenues of study. And then finally, when we get towards the end of the article, you have a references section. Now, every entry in the references represents a book or journal article that the author used in preparation for their research article. If you are interested in the journal article, the quickest way to locate related articles is to look through the references. You can use the journal locator to see if a journal listed in the references list is available to you. Let's look at one of these citations and see if the library subscribed to the journal. Let's look at the article titled Supporting Early Childhood Teachers to Promote Children's Social Competence, towards the bottom here. And we can tell by the citation, uh, the author's last name is Han. It was dated 2014. It's in the Early Childhood Education Journal. Volume 42, no issue is listed, but the page range is from page 171 through 179. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the journal title and get it on my clipboard. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to the library home page and I'm going to click on the journal locator tab. And from there, I'm going to paste the journal title into the box and click go. And I can see the first result here is the correct title. Let me click on that title to see more information. Okay, so this shows us all the databases that have access to this particular journal. Now the year of the article that we were looking for is 2014. So we want to look at all these databases and the date ranges to make sure that it covers the year that we're looking for. So, for instance, this first one, ProQuest Education Database, we can see that the year range is 1997 through 365 days ago, and we wanted 2014, so this should be fine. So let's go ahead and click on Access Journal. Okay, and this brings us to the journal main page. And I'm going to scroll down to browse specific issues. And we're looking for 2014, so let me 
click on the group 2010 through 2019 and then I'm going to open up 2014 now we know the volume was 42 but we didn't have an issue but we did have a page range so if we're going to select one of them let's choose May 2014 issue 3 and let's see what the page ranges are so let me just go back to the original citation to see the page range was 171 through 179 right and it looks like we're good. This first one here is 153 to 162. Let's scroll down a little bit further. And it looks like this third one here is the one we wanted. 171 through 179. And sure enough, that's the title. Okay, and you could just click through to get to the full text of this article. And that is how you would use the journal locator to find out if we subscribe to a specific journal. If you find that you need additional assistance, you can use our chat service, which is available on most library pages. Or you can contact us via email. For the Callahan Library, the email is callahan at sjcny.edu. For the McIntaggart Hall Library, the email is mcintaggart at sjcny.edu. Thank you for your attention.